It's time to continue exploring the Northeast region. Today's objectives are to describe the climate, major physical features, and major natural resources in each region. Today, we will be focusing on climate of the Northeast region. But before we do so, let's go ahead and sing our song to review the 11 states and their capitals of the Northeast region. Augusta, Maine, Concord, New Hampshire, Mount Pelier, Vermont, Albany, New York, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Annapolis, Maryland, Dover, Delaware, and Trenton, New Jersey, Hartford, Connecticut, Providence, Rhode Island, Boston, Massachusetts, that's the Northeast region. Now let's do it again with the state capitals popping up. Augusta, Maine, Concord, New Hampshire, Mount Pelier, Vermont, Albany, New York, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Annapolis, Maryland, Dover, Delaware, and Trenton, New Jersey, Hartford, Connecticut, Providence, Rhode Island, Boston, Massachusetts, that's the Northeast region. I hope you boys and girls enjoyed the song and are starting to remember the states and their capitals of the Northeast region. Now let's jump into the Northeast region climate. The weather in the Northeast varies widely. What does the author mean when he says something varies? That's right, it means it changes often. The temperatures get colder as you move north and away from the coastline. Can someone explain what a coastline is? That's right, a coastline just means along the coast or along the shore. You know, it's where the ocean meets the land. Like when you're on a beach. The winters are very cold. Much of this region gets a lot of snowfall. Sometimes the Northeast gets really big snowstorms called blizzards. Areas in upstate New York can see over 100 inches of snowfall yearly, while the coastal areas in Maryland only receive small amounts. Boys and girls, sounds like parts of the, the Northeast region gets a lot of snow. They experience blizzards. Major storms in the Atlantic Ocean off the Northeast coast are referred to as nor'easters. They usually form between the months of September and April. Nor'easters bring heavy rain or snowfall and can cause severe coastal flooding. In the summer months, the warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean cycle north and give this region hot and humid temperatures. This warm weather can also bring hurricanes to the coastal areas. Many storms regularly come ashore throughout the region. They cause erosion of the land. This means that the wind and water from storms move soil and rocks away from one location and carry them to another. Can we describe the climate of the Northeast region throughout the year, boys and girls? The author wasn't kidding. It really does vary. There can be cold, snowy winters. There can be hot, stormy summers. Sounds like this region experiences it all. What challenges can the climate bring to this region? Yes, yeah, some challenges that this region faces because of its climate are blizzard storms, nor'eastern storms with heavy rainfall and flooding, and even hurricanes 
which can damage homes with strong winds. Let's take a look at this United States climate map. Let's first take a look at the map key. This map key will help us unlock some information about the climate of the United States. Red areas tell us they have a tropical climate. Yellow shows a desert climate. Tan is a dry climate. Brown indicates mild seasons. Green indicates humid summers and mild winters. Pink indicates humid summers and cold winters. Light blue shows cool to cold mountains. And finally, dark blue shows long cold winters with short summers. Now our northeast region is located right here. Taking a look at the map key, what two climates does region have? That's right, the climate of the Northeast region includes humid summers and mild winters, and even humid summers and cold winters. I want to zoom in a little bit more. Let's take a look at New Jersey, for example, located right here. How would you describe the climate of New Jersey based off of this map? Yes, we have humid summers and mild winters, meaning not too terribly cold, but yet we still experience some snow. And let's take a look at Maine, which is right here. How would you describe the climate of Maine? That's right. They have humid summers and cold winters. This would be the area that experiences blizzards during the winter months. And New Jersey would be the area that experiences coastal flooding or nor'easter, nor'easters during the summer months. Keep this in mind. This will help you with your independent work. So now it is time for your independent work. You should have your Northeast Region booklet as well as your Northeast Region text passages. Use this video and the text to complete this page in your booklet. The two questions are above. Climate. Describe the weather during different times of year in this region. What effect does the climate have on what can be grown here? You'll have to make an inference here. Once you've completed this booklet page, you will then answer this question on Google Slides. Using the map above and the climate map, how is Maine's climate different from New Jersey's climate? You can also reference our video to answer this question. Don't forget to use race!